260 years ago, J.F. Aubin built this amazingly ornate and mechanically complex piece that converts to a writing desk or dressing table. With a turn of a key in its lock, the top slides back and a drawer protrudes from the table's front, driven by clockwork mechanisms, revealing a number of hidden compartments. This wonderful piece, and several others like it, were produced by teams of craftsmen at a time when power tools didn't exist. Hi, I'm Jay Lico, a furniture maker in Huntsville, Alabama, and a student at the Mark Adams School of Woodworking. After five years of studying various aspects of woodworking and furniture making, I'm preparing to complete my Michael Fortune Fellowship by recreating this piece. Furniture of this caliber isn't being created today, especially in North America. Even in Europe, this is a dying craft. The knowledge is being lost as old masters join their predecessors, leaving fewer apprentices to follow them. I want to change this and help to preserve this dying art form. Despite the admonition of my instructors, I am taking on this challenge. In mid-July, I was granted the opportunity to examine, measure, and photograph the original 260-year-old table at the J. Paul Getty Museum in Los Angeles. Presently, I'm in the process of creating my shop drawings and templates, preparing for the construction phase. Unlike Oban, though, there is not an aristocrat commissioning this project, and it is a costly endeavor. So I'm turning to you to help provide the support necessary to realize this undertaking. By backing this project, you will help to procure the materials necessary. Quarter and rift sawn poplar in North American red oak for the carcass. Veneer to cover the visible surfaces and from which to cut the marquetry. Resources with which to source the casting, chasing, and gilding of the bronze or maloo mounts and mechanisms necessary to operate the table and materials necessary to complete a French polish finish. In return for your support, you will receive regular updates on the project's status through pictures, video, email, and weblog postings, samples of the actual hand-cut marquetry used to decorate the surfaces, opportunities to learn and practice these techniques, an invitation to a special event to see the completed piece and watch it in action. Even the chance to own the painted prototype, which will manually operate, but contain no marquetry mechanisms or ormolu. The financial goal set for this project is modest, enough to barely cover the cost of materials. If we fail to achieve this specified level, the project receives nothing. Kickstarter operates on an all-or-nothing principle. Please take a moment to review this information and consider becoming part of this amazing recreation. Thank you for your consideration.